Hello, my name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hilversum Hurricanes. I live in Amsterdam. Hilversum and Amsterdam are both in the Netherlands, which is in Europe, which is the other side of the Atlantic, or as people like to nicely say, across the pond. Anyways, <laughs> so I play Euroball, and our season's coming up. There's some news coming up that'll be later in my video. Every Monday and Friday, I put out American football content on this channel, but I technically vlog every day. Some days are not great, like yesterday's video where I was doing a rest day, and some days are great where I'm traveling around the Netherlands on a train and making fun of tourists, wherever they're from, mostly Americans. Um, but as is, we currently have as currently we have a global situation happening, Americans are not really let out of their countries without being Karens. So, um, yes. I have lived in the Netherlands for three years, I've played for the Hurricanes for three years, um, but with Corona and a major uh, collarbone break I had in 2019, did not have much of seasons. So I'm hoping this next season will be the one that finally is, you know, mm, real. <laughs> How these videos go, at least here on Fridays, is there's the intro, there's the question and answers, which are comments from previous videos, football related. And then there's the news afterwards, which we have some today. And I used to talk about things around Europe while we were doing very little leagues. People weren't sure if they were going to have football at all. But now, like, most everyone's back up and running, including, like, Team France. So, hmm. Anyways. And at the end, I have football practice later tonight. Um, and this is, it, it's going to be very dark. <laughs> I'll probably record a little bit before. I'm going to attempt to set up the camera later for things, but as it is very dark because our football field is currently being reworked by the Hilversum Municipality Government, City, City Hall basically, um, yeah, we cannot use it right now with all those wonderful stadium lights, so, because it's a grass field, and hmm. So we're currently using the back end of the baseball field. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's how these videos go. There's chapters below. You can go if you're not like, oh, I just want to see the practice stuff and what it's like to have, play American football and practice in Europe, not the United States, where everything is very bland. Oh, anyways, let's move into comment. Monkey Fida says, I play middle school football. I was switched to a weak side linebacker around a quarter into the season, probably last year. I was pretty good defensive end before that, and we play a 4-3 formation. That's what my team does. And I feel like I have a good understanding of this position. I can make tackles efficiently and I'm good at controlling my gap. Any pointers that you might have? Well, as a weak side linebacker, you're most likely going to be, if you're playing 4-3, you are the roll down safety. That's what I like to kind of call it. You function more as the number two receiver since you're on weak side. Okay, so when they come out with two receivers on both sides, twins sometimes called, it's corners and then you have the strong safety and the weak safe, and the weak side linebacker because there's no real weak safety there the field safety <laughs> uh, if you had five defensive backs the, that would be the weak weak safety i'm not sure exactly what they're called sometimes it's jacking but i'm not sure it's a nickel back formation don't hate on me for the band but that's just what it's called so your nickel would cover that number two receiver but then at that point you'd either have one less lineman or one less linebacker so that's why i say it functions as a roll down safety because you're just a safety that's in the box, which is totally fine. You were a defensive end before that one, so you have less only forward motion. I know some teams I've been on have had a switch thing or whatever. Um, what was, I don't know what it was called among the Cobras, but it was where our defensive ends went out into coverage and our outside linebackers went round the outside. It was just to throw them off and it was very funky. Weirdly executed sometimes, but that's a coach decision. Nifty on my football uniform suit up from back in 2016 says, How did you change from corner to ILB? I got muscular. I was a corner and I was learning the position. I was getting faster and faster and my hips were rotating a little bit better and just wasn't doing it nearly as well as sometimes some of the receivers who had been, you know, in college when I was in semi pro in the States, but. Eventually, I moved into an outside linebacker position uh, with Willie because I was getting stronger and getting heavier and whatnot. <laughs> and that was around 20 summer, in between the seasons of 2017, 2018. And I moved in for outside linebacker while I was with the Cobras, but then <laughs> I'd moved to Europe. By coming here, I was more or less an outside linebacker. They treated me as Will linebacker, but we had a 3-4 situation, so I was technically an inside linebacker. Um, I was not the outsides I was, well, anyways. So when we moved to a 4-3, 
recently I became the Mike linebacker. So that's kind of how that happened. Um, but I had much more of a forward mentality than I did a backwards mentality. So I was not a good corner. Willie figured that one out. Uh, Beckett Huber says, I want to say the fact that you, fact that the day every vid. Yeah. I think what he meant is that I make a vid every day. Yes, it's, it's, it's awkward. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit tiring. Again, I referenced yesterday's video where I was pretty much laying on the bed. I was having a rest day. Uh, that's interesting. It says, where's the news video? Friday videos have my news in it. It's a small section. Just go down there and check it if you want. That's the news. It says, get a new helmet, LMAO. I have a great helmet. It's a, it's a Zenith Epic Plus Prowl face mask. I love it. I mean, I might get a new helmet, but again, this thing's working really well, and it's only four years old. Uh, again, on the football suit up, um, DBA says, thank God for all the gear. People say NFLers are pansies for using all that armor. It goes on to basically say that American football is functionally different than, say, rugby or even as, you know, association football, or maybe even Australian rules football. Um, and thus the pads are relatively needed because of the way the rules function. Um, there are many times where I've shown clips of our games to some of the rugby guys here in the Netherlands that work at my gym and they're like, oh, that would be illegal in rugby. That's a double move. And I'm like, what? You can't just tackle someone and then body slam them? I'm like, oh, no, you can tackle them, but you can't do anything after that. I'm like, huh, doesn't sound like that much fun. You know, you can't, I mean, obviously you can't lead with your head in football, but there's other things because we are running shoulder into shoulder that gets near the head we need to protect the head the head the helmet is not a weapon it's a pure defensive mechanism plus you know getting your fingers in <laughs> there's still I've, I've explained to the guy at the gym there's a lot of penalties when dealing with direct contact with the helmet <laughs> someone who in my live stream goes by the name al pacino probably not the actual person uh you're the only person i actually tune into vlogs Thank you so much. <laughs> My vlogs are, again, it's a day in the life. I'm a linebacker. I live, I'm an American and I live overseas. And so yeah, things are very weird. It's not always about football, but it's not always not about football. Someone on the suit up video says, the tights you wore are not named Su Sud. It is actually named Sub. Yes, I'm very aware of this one. Um, back when I made that video, I was not very careful as to what I was naming things, especially when being colorblind and they were green tights and the top part that signified a B was red and I couldn't see it very well. So yeah, red, green, colorblind, love it. Um, Musty R4T on last week's, last Friday's video says, what league do I play in? It's called AFBN, which that stands for American Football Bond Nederland. Uh, it's just the acronym for it and that's American Football collection of clubs, Netherlands. Like GFL is the German Football League. We would have probably the NFL, the Netherlands Football League. We might have NAFL if we want to switch over to something like that, the Netherlands American Football League, just to not get confusion. Belgian and Britain have ones like one's BAFA and one's BAFL. It's like the British American Football League and the Belgian American Football Association. Um, but like when you get down to um, Italy, it's um, IDAFL, IDAF. It's like the Italianza Divisionis Americans Football or something like that. Each country basically just has like, you can, it has an acronym and ours is AFBN. Chili K, K says, this guy is cool and wholesome. What is there to hate? I'm lost. All you gotta do is go back to the read the comments further down than the one that I pinned. I pinned one that's very positive, so people will see that one to promote positivity in comments on YouTube. But if you go further down in the comments, they get, it's not the first one, they get really bad, especially with other suit-up videos that I've done. Uh, Aiden R asked if I had any tips for middle linebackers, his first year of high school football. Um, so one of the things I would talk about for American, for tips for linebacker is know your playbook, because we don't have too terribly much plays but the thing is is what can happen with stunts on the line and what gap you're supposed to be in based on what is kind of critical and if you don't necessarily understand that say like superman goes to the strong side for s and strong superman that the line is shifting to the strong side and your gap is going to have to maybe even alternate because if you go on strong a 
and they're going to the strong side, that means, at least in a playbook two teams ago, the nose tackle would go from weak A to strong A because the whole line is shifting over, and my hole would swap as middle linebacker. I was not middle linebacker at the time, but I looked at the playbook <laughs> enough that that is what happened. So when they called out Superman, they would go to the strong side, and the middle linebacker would pull out and move into the weak side A. So that's kind of how that functioned. So make sure you know your playbook. Um, tackles will come. Um, also, another thing that gets a lot of people is make sure that you primarily fill your hole rather than run through it. If you're blitzing, go through. Blitzing all things off the book, get in that hole, run through it, attack somebody. But if you're run first responsibility and you're going in and you engage with the center and you push him off to the side, don't immediately run through. <laughs> Unless that running back is screaming out there and the quarterback obviously does not have the ball. But the thing is, is fill your gap first, then notice where the running back is at. If he's gone, go after him. But if he's not, then it's entirely possible that he's still being shifty back there. And if you run through your hole, he can squirrel in behind you. I know someone that would be the king of doing that one. In fact, I think I've seen it doing him doing it in some footage of mine from previous years. That is, yeah. The advantages Willie would tell me about being a skinny little running back tells me a lot about what I should not do as a middle linebacker. And I should fill the hole and then, for, you know, like that's the goal is to fill the hole, not necessarily to tackle. Because if he's running through the weak A gap and I run through the hole, we can miss each other if I don't necessarily see him right away. If I fill the hole, he runs into me. Does that kind of make sense? Uh, another comment on the video. It's a very popular video right now because everyone's getting their football gear and going back and everyone wants to search on YouTube. And I think it's the most popular video for football uniform suit up. I think I know football has a more viewed video, but every time I seem to search football uniform with like incognito mode on to know that it's not me, I'm not logged into my account, my video comes up first in the search results. So anyways, <laughs> it says, are you gay? No hate, just wondering, cause mad respect. Yes, my husband is out currently doing work from home stuff. <laughs> in fact, his promotion is what caused us to move here. He got promoted, we're here on a work visa and I play football in Europe. Um, Connor Graham on a different video says, you are gay, rainbow. Me, you've, I, I respond to all of these comments and I'm like, you found the wonderful Easter egg, I guess. Uh, Erica Soto says, nice nimple. I, that's, I hope that's a typo. I don't know what a nimple is, but I'm taking a while to guess it would be nipple. Um, yes, I was shirtless when I first started that suit up video. Thankfully, I wasn't completely naked. That's illegal on YouTube. I did a shorts that interesting. Yo, I love American football, even though I made a whole debate about it on a few lives ago. See a next one, dude, talking about random. The dude who talks about random 2021. Sure, okay. That's what I posted on a short. Um, some people just want to come in lives and chat because they're lonely, but they don't understand how to have a conversation, so they just talk a bunch of crap. And I'm like, okay. Uh, God of Roblox asks, am I, tired of, am I tired of him joining the live streams? It's not that I'm tired of people joining the live streams. It's the fact that they completely change their profile picture and their profile, and their profile name. And they'll be like, hey, do you remember me? And I'm like, no. I mean, I can go back and see that this channel ID has commented multiple times. But sometimes I don't remember exactly who you are. I barely remember Tuesday. <laughs> so that's just how Corona stuff done. And especially when I'm getting all these comments, sometimes I'm just, if you completely change and rebrand your profile on YouTube, your account, I, I may not know who you are. So asking if I remember you is either a gotcha question or you don't realize something. But I don't mind people joining the live streams. It's just that sometimes you ask impossible questions. Um, an account D, you need to forget. An account that you will never forget, that you don't forget. Uh, hey, I just saw that you play in the Netherlands. Super cool, man. What do you think about the Groningen giant, Giants? Competitive. I always show up for a fight. And I put in a link in the comments. Say, hey, here's a game day vlog from the before times. Nish McLeod says, good stuff. Just got off the ice here. Last minute request to play Nets after putting in 500 kilometers on a Harley. 
I have no idea if that's, I mean, I know 500 kilometers is a long distance, but <laughs> it, it's awkward. Uh, Dirty 30 says first again. He has been, but he was a little slacky on a little bit. Um, uh, Beckett Heber, hello, guess who's back? P.S. Love your vids. Like the video, I have no idea how to respond to these, so I don't really respond, but I do like the comments. Um, Kin X A U L says this video is kind of weird, is low key weird. You're the one that watched it. It's not like I hid anything in the video, the original suit up video. Uh, Scared Face K says this man done all grown up, and I'm like, I'm so sorry that American football is only for children in your country. Um, I do not know. I asked if that's a problem. He says, nah, there was no response to that one, but whatever. Like, uh, I'm sorry if the grown adults don't play it in your country. Um, it seems kind of sad. It's a fun sport. You can play well into your 30s um, without any significant injuries. My hair is not okay right now. But if you feel that American football is only for children, mm, no. Kazantaki's boy says he just picked up the super bads, 4.5, blue and white, adult small, what do you think, play receiver, running back, linebacker, and left end. That is a toolbox, bro, of positions. And I can only assume that you're in, like, the younger, like, adult small, like, to play a receiver, a running back, a linebacker, and a left end. <sighs> like, by Christ. <laughs> That's way so many positions. I would think maybe start specializing on one. We went into a com conversation that I cannot get to. I looked at those because I currently use, I currently use cutters. Um, I showed them off in a previous video. In fact, that he was cutting, that he was commented on. It's all the gear I'm using for this next season. So these are the ones I'm using. Um, and they are lightly padded and they are warm for the cold Netherlands winter. I would say the summer also, because considering it is pouring down rain outside and has been gray for the last three days and we we're in the middle of August. Um, but we went into a whole thing in the comments about how I cannot access Dick's Sporting Goods website. I can't even access Max Prep's website outside of the United States. And then we went into a bit about how insu insulated the United States is and that, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods does not adhere to global privacy standards for like the cookies and stuff. So their, <laughs> their websites are blocked outside or at least within Europe. But they don't ship internationally anyway, so when I buy things off Amazon for football gear, it's usually limited to a private seller who has a limited variety, and I wasn't able to get blue and white <laughs> in adult large. So, yeah. Um, God of Roblox asks, uh, what kind of shoulder pads do you use? These are Zenith Element Hybrid Adult Medium. Brought those up on the, uh, what gear am I using for <laughs> the next upcoming season? So I answer that and he's like, okay, thanks. Thomas Burkett says, nice video. I live in Texas where on the field it gets up to 120 degrees and you would literally die if you were, if you wore all that, you wouldn't be allowed on the field. And I'm like, well, thankfully I live in the Netherlands, but in that video, <laughs> um, it was the middle of January in Portland, Oregon, kind of necessary when you are dipping below freezing at your practices. Same thing applies here. The last game in Groningen was so cold, we actually had a haze of ice crystals over the field. It was weird. Here's a picture. <laughs> Anyways, um, Daniel Maris asks, what position do I play? Middle linebacker. You can get a thing like this because this applies to all linebackers, but mostly the middle linebacker position. Um, Phantom Music on the Away Colors football uniform suit up is, are you still playing today? Yes, I have practice tonight. Um, we have a game coming up and a, a season game coming up at the end of September. And it's a great little segue to move into the news section here in a bit. Um, there's something coming up sometime around the 11th of September, something like that. I'll look up the information in the news section. And then the last one is, uh, I peeped the I Like Dudes poster in the back. I'm like, thank you. That's, it was an unintentional Easter egg for that video. Did not realize that was in the background, let alone that it would be such a big deal that people saw the Sorry Girls I Like Dudes poster in the background of a football uniform suit up. But you know what? How to, how can, <laughs> unintentionally out yourself without telling me you unintentionally outed yourself. Although I had actually come out of the closet like 
12 years before that. <laughs> That's why I didn't care that that poster was hanging up around in my apartment. Mainly because also in daily vlogs, it was also there. <laughs> so, I just wasn't thinking that people would see that poster and, <gasps> oh no! It's from uh, June 17th, 2016, so I'm not... <laughs> I was technically playing American football and openly gay before Carl Nessip, but he's in the NFL, and that's the only thing that matters in the world of media. So, in the terms of news, we do have a game coming up on the weekend of September 25-26. I haven't seen the schedule yet, but that is an AFBN League game. There's also, I've heard whispers in the wind about one of our teams in the Air Divisi, the top division. Um, not playing in the top division, but going down to the second division. But, so, yeah. So I'm not sure what that would mean because we play with an eight, eight and eight. So there's like four in pool A, four in pool B, and the same thing in the first, you know, in the second division. And then whoever wins the Air Divisi at the end of the season wins the Tulip Bowl. Whoever loses, whoever has the worst record out of everyone, and whoever's defeated gets to play the one who won the second division, and they go in for a relegation promotion game. And if the lower team wins that game, they go into the top level, and that's what happened the last season. Rotterdam won the first division, and Utrecht lost the top division. So they played a game, and Rotterdam won, and Utrecht got demoted. But then Leiden in the top division was just like, mm, nah. So they stepped down into the first division, which bloated that division, but then since technically, according to the rules, um, Rotterdam would have just been promoted into Leiden's position. Utrecht didn't technically leave our thing, but yeah. And now there's rumors in the wind that Utrecht may not be playing in top division, which leaves us at seven teams, and I'm not sure how that's going to functionally work. Because <laughs> if Leiden doesn't want to come back up and Utrecht's not wanting to come back up, we may be picking up s other teams. It could be Tilburg or the Panthers or Enschede. Uh, who knows? Eindhoven. That would actually be pretty fun. <laughs> um, but then we have a game against in theory. It's a little bit soon. It's on the 11th of September. We're already getting a um, date. Pr Datum pricker is what it's called. It's basically a, um, you know, sign up for this event website. And um, it's in Belgium against Isachem, which we did last year and we did not do very well, but people... Last year it was also a practice game and things were weird and wonky and... Mm, so... Anyways, I'll link to that game up here. It was not a great game, uh, but things worked out pretty well. But we will have, hopefully, a rematch. Um, our club coordinator just put in the rice advice for Belgia. Um, and it says, relatively okay. I'm fully vaccinated, so I don't need to worry about that as long as I have my QR code on my phone. Um, so hopefully that one will happen if we get enough people signed up for it. It's a little short notice, kind of. I don't know. But yeah, um, tonight, Frank is going to be at practice, so we may get him on practice. He hasn't been there for a while, but I know he wants to um, spice it up a little bit and get back. Yeah, in terms of other things, yeah, let's check. American Football International. Again, link below to American Football International. You guys can find that. It's of all the stuff. They are way better at news than I am. <laughs> I just give like little highlights, especially around our current season itself or any teams we're playing against or whatnot. Um, again, I used to give more when there's only ELF or Austria, but now that it's like there's Hungary and ELF and Germany, like three levels of leagues there. I think Italy's playing some right now. Spain might be starting back up again. <laughs> it's, they're much more comprehensive. But, yeah, even, and now that the NFL has started back up, which I'll probably give you guys updates on Panther stuff. Right now it's preseason, so it's, what's going on with that one? I should probably watch a Panthers game tomorrow, that preseason game. Anyways, I will chat with you guys out of practice. That's it for pretty much news. So, 
For those of you that are waiting for game day vlog, that will happen probably sooner if we get to the Isachem, and you'll get to see what Belgium looks like. Maybe get to meet some Belgian players or something. I know there's sort of a combi team. There was a bunch of teams that kind of <clears throat> went up way a, a couple years ago, and they took like the combination players to make a team in Isachem, which is a city. I-Z-E-G-E-M. Something like that. Because the Dutch G is <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll chat with you guys out in Hilversum. Hey, we're out here in Hilversum. I left the <laughs> I left the camera back in the backpack, so I'm walking out here quickie to the field. <laughs> that sled. We actually don't use this one now because it's too um narrow. Uh there's our tires. Fields in the process of growing back. Um, I'll try to get some stuff during practice. It doesn't look too terribly rainy, but you can see how it's very green. It just, once you get out here, you start realizing, hmm, it's not in the greatest mood. I'm trying to figure out what happened there. I want to blame that's a linebacker problem because that's where we usually do our practicing, right next to the light pole. But if they fix the field, why is that not fixed? There's Frank with the DBs. Going over to the, uh, why are you zoomed in? Why are you consistently zooming in? But yeah, so I don't have my pads on because my back is acting up. The pain pills are wearing off, but I'm gonna to try to put in some work that involves arms, at least on the sled. So if that involves, there's a, have my helmet with me. DBs are weird. We gaan hetzelfde beweging doen, dus uitvuren, arm strekken. Deze slee kan dus alleen maar omhoog, dus dan merk je waar hij naartoe moet. Dan wordt ongeveer dit. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it just dawned on me that we're going to be doing Oklahoma's, but we're doing it in the light, so I'm going to get some film of it, because it's fun. But we have a new guy here, and I don't think he's played football before, so we're doing Oklahoma's. Oh, that's what one guy we were doing a lot of teaching on the sled and stuff, so... Yeah, fun times. But I am feeling the peer pressure of not doing stuff today. Yes! You haven't almost tried to do Oklahoma's without a helmet! Hey, yeah, 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 I filmed you over there. They were like jumping around on no, each other. Never coached them. So. So they, they were just like. Well, they were doing that like mirroring drill. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I just look over there and I zoomed in. I'm like, DBs are fucking weird. It's good for them. Conditioning. <laughs> Footwork. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the two. Still do, they're still doing something, mirroring somebody, and you don't know what he's doing. So. Well, yeah. That's. 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 Pretty much everything about a defensive back. That's my excuse for letting them do some yeah, stupid. Yeah, <laughs> it's your excuse for letting them fuck around. That's nice. Let's go. Okay, so new guy's not going in. Yeah. 
Second bill! Yeah. 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 That's it! <laughs> yeah, that's it, Bill. Let's go! Gotta eat! Gotta eat! Let's go! Down! Red point four, red point four. I don't actually have my shoulder pads fully on. <laughs> my arms are sticking out the side. It's just that I was cleaning up the field because I can do something today. So I put them around my neck so that I could... Yeah. Are you recording? You're recording. Okay, so I'm drunk. And I'm burpy. Oh my god, I have tea and a protein shake. I'll save the protein shake for tomorrow. This is very unbecoming of me. Anyways, it's 10.30, and they turn the lights off at like 10.15. But I was socializing with the team in our defensive end, and um, yeah. Anyways, I know you guys can't see me. You can hear me, though. We'll be out to the parking lot. But thankfully, since I'm a little bit can't even fucking whistle. I'm so buzzed. Anyways, we are, uh, we, we did some Oklahomas. I did not partake. Um, when I was trying to get my cleats off and stuff, I had a back spasm. <laughs> this is just a part of the thing. And I know people are like, oh, you didn't partake in the Oklahomas. I'm like, bro, I have been at every practice, given everything I need. And I fucked up in the gym on Monday. Sunday, hopefully it'll be way better. <laughs> you know, that gives me two more days of rest, plus today was a bit of rest and testing the system. Um, but yeah. So, testing my system. Um, I will probably figure out how to get a heat pack on it, or an ice pack, or something. And then uh, take some paracetamol and go to bed tonight, and then rest it tomorrow. Uh, but probably go for a walk so I can work it, but not stress it. But yeah, I got a bit of, because I wasn't partaking in practice, I took more video, so we're not going to have much after practice because I didn't do much. I don't have anything to recall. Check you guys all out on Sunday for football, or Monday for a football video, or on the live stream coming up. Anyways, so yes, the live stream, if you want to talk football, will be Saturday midday for the United States, Saturday evening for Europe. Um, I will have already eaten Taco Bell for the first time in three years.